Last night, we met with senior officials, and they say right now the evidence points to Hassan acting alone. But there's a very intensive review underway to see if any warning signs were missed that could have stopped the massacre. The senior officials acknowledged that Hassan was on the radar screen of U.S. intelligence before the shooting spree. They said intelligence officials captured 10 to 20 communications between Hassan and a figure they would only identify as being from overseas. We know from our reporting that the man Hassan contacted is a radical imam who's been associated with al-Qaeda. The officials emphasized that those communications, which we think are emails, did not make any direct threats. So they did not launch a full-scale investigation. They said the information about the contact with the imam was passed along to the military, but it appears the military did little with that heads up, Diane. Well, on that point, uh, Pierre, we're always looking, of course, retrospectively for clues. And the Washington Post is reporting this morning that Major Hassan gave a presentation a year and a half ago to fellow Army doctors, and he argued, had a kind of PowerPoint argument, that the military should let Muslim soldiers be released as conscientious objectors. And one of the slides says it's getting harder for Muslims to morally justify being in a military that seems constantly engaged against fellow Muslims. Later, he added, apparently, talking about suicide, bombers quote we love death more than you love life uh, the question I have is in the military is there consideration given to conscientious objection for being Muslim well there is Diane and we're told by army officials that you know you can make a request it's reviewed through the chain of a man command but they say that there's no evidence right now that they have that Hassan ever made such a request okay well Pierre thanks again to you this